Hello YouTube, my name is Patrick and this is my channel 1984. Today I got some uh, mail, so this is gonna be like a mailbag video so you can look at some stuff uh, some people sent in. So here I got a donation from Ferris, uh, it's a Discord contact of mine. He sent in stuff for the Mac build I did uh, well, quite a while ago now. So he sent in another piece for a build I'm planning that he had left over. He wanted to donate. So yeah, let's open it and see what's inside. friend is from Germany, I think, so well, he lives in Germany, so I don't know if that's from there. Well, I think it starts in German here, the text here, and I don't know German, so you have to tell me what this is. I mean, it's obviously candy, so thank you. Good packing material, I suppose. More packing material. So yeah, we got a sugar bomb here. Pretty sure of that. Can I read? Yeah, 52 grams. That I can understand, even if it's in German. 52.4 grams of sugar per 100 grams. So, but we're not here to eat cookies right now. I do like the packaging though. It's uh, one of the better packaging, I think. So, this is the card itself. So, to the people that has a trained eye, you might have spotted what it is. See so if there's something on the back here that identifies it, other than... Uh, yeah, I think if we look at an edge, yeah. See if we can zoom in that much. So, the manufacturer, or at least the brand is Medium. But I don't think Medium made it. I think actually this is made by MSI. I think there might be a number for that somewhere you can check, but it's a G4 8x that's a day gp speed so it's a ti 4200 so i actually think this msa are under four numbers before it be there is this an 8889 b so if you ignore everything from the b and on i think this is uh, if you use that number i think you're gonna find like an msi e44 card uh, msi's own version seems to be fancier, but I think this is made by MSI. There's a lot of OEM motherboards and stuff made by them. Uh, so this is a GeForce 4 Ti 4200, and uh, it should have, see if you can see that too, let's zoom in on the RAM here. Might have to get that under a microscope otherwise. See if I can get some light on it. Well, like I can read now, it says it's Samsung and it ends with TC40. Uh, so that tells me it's 500 mAh uh, DDR from Samsung, it's 4 nanoseconds, so that's 250 mAh clock. And I also know that this card, card doesn't run at that. It runs at 444. Uh, on the RAM, which seems to be pretty normal because this is the 128 megabyte version, I think, of the uh, card. The TX 4200 had a 64 megabyte version too, and that ran at 500. So it's kind of weird, uh, weird because if you only need a 64, that would be faster. And that card had even faster RAM actually. So the, both of them have underclocked RAM. So this this RAM should run fine at 500 for everything I've seen on these cards. Also, this GPU is underclocked, probably a decision by Medium or 
the, I think that this was used in an OEM system that he found on like a flea market I think that was somewhat broken so he parted it out all the good bits so I end up with this and uh, yeah so they probably decided that this should only run at 225 apparently but this should be 250 for a TL4200 and these GPUs are apparently known for overclocking very well like 300 or more so I think we could quite easily run this as 250 on the GPU and 500 on memory and yeah and uh, he obviously like I said said over because I was looking for something like this needed something so he parted it out and uh, yeah, I have a GeForce 3 Ti 200, so the plan is kind of like was to get like a GeForce 3 Ti, a GeForce 3 Ti 500 or a vanilla GeForce 3, and hope that would be a little bit faster because I'm bottlenecked by the GPU. But uh, I started looking into GeForce 4 Ti for 200s uh, if they were better better priced, and overall they were. But uh, yeah, I didn't end up winning any auctions because they went for like 35, 40 euros and that's just too much plus shipping and my budget per month is like 50 euros. So if I were to do a build on a card like this with a Thunderbird, this the graphics card would be a month worth of uh, what I can stow away. So that would take some while to get the YouTube video out. So with this card here now, I can actually hopefully make a video relatively soon on a build like that. Uh, so yeah So thank you to Ferris for donating this this should not burden like my Thunberg 1400 or what I Choose to go with I have a second CPU that is similar, but not uh, I might go for in rough around 2001-2002 era is what I'm aiming which this slot in in 2002 I think right uh, in the mid there So yeah, thank you Ferris so, I got a second package here from uh, a donor. He sent it in. It's uh, from Sweden. It's called Svenstingen uh, on Sweet Talkers Forum. So, yeah. He's also a member of Vogons, uh, which where he contacted me. I didn't see the connection at first. It had a different username there. No candy in that one, but that's fine. Let's see. I know what he was supposed to send in, so let's see if this adds up. It's one thick pile of cards, that's for sure. That is clearly a wood too, with bent pins, but that fits the description of what he was telling me. So yeah, an Innovision uh, wood too, and this 12 meg version I think, because it's fully populated, so it should be. Actually, the FX is here. And a 5 nanosecond memory, so that should be 100 megahertz. Just zooming in here so you can see some of the damage. Let's see, how's that pointing, pointing device? Pretty sure I had something at some point. Well, at least over here, we have some uh, bent pins that need sorting. Uh, so, yeah, this is a non working card. I think everything here is non-working, so everything needs fixing, but that's fine. 
I actually think these heat, thing, heat sinks up here might be stock. I've seen pictures of uh, the R body too, so it's stock heat sinks from a manufacturer. But yeah. At least they're not covering the legs, so that's good. It makes repair easier. But we could probably get them off anyway, but if we don't have to, that's better. I don't straight up see any other damage right now, but there probably is. Both loose pins, bent pins, obviously. So yeah, that's a Voodoo 2, 12 megabytes. That needs fixing. Let's see, here's another one. It's an ore sheet cord. So let's have a look. Looks very nice so far. But there are bent pins too. So up here you can see some bent pins. I should be able to fix that. And even if they're broken off, we should be able to fix that. We've done it before. This is obviously also a 12 megabyte card. 83 megabyte memory. This is interesting, actually. So I have no idea how these will run at 90. 83 megahertz. I mean, I've seen them for sale. I even avoided them. So the funny thing is here, the TMU RAM, which is these here, are all 83. But if you look here, it's 100 megahertz. And that's the frame buffer. And the same thing applies to the other side. So this is all they have for the frame buffer. And it's 83. Considering cards run at 90, not sure how this works, if they actually run fine at 90 or if they supply their own driver disk like they obviously did, but if that had a changed uh, INF file with different clocks. Uh, so that's kind of funny. The original uh, data sheet I've seen for the two talks about 75, so, the, so yeah. But yeah, that's Voodoo uh, 2 with uh, slower RAM. Which yeah, could be interesting. Could obviously also upgrade this with faster RAM. That's an option. Kind of expensive to do. So if it runs fine, it's probably not, but it's an option. So another Buddha 2. And this is. Oh, interesting, no memory at the back. So I think this is a 12 megabyte version, but with the one megabyte chips, the normal ones, uh, have one of these. I have half a megabyte chip, so far I'm 12K, so you see, same on the front, but uh, different on the back. So yeah. So I wonder who made this particular card find any markings because I have a suspicion of what this card actually is what brand it is I just forgotten the brand name but if you know in the comments you can leave it there or I will look it up later but I think I know what this is because I was asked if I had one and I didn't and now I have one obviously but like I said everything here is broken so why this isn't working I don't know I don't see any bend pins right now but uh, loose pins is an, is an option and some broken uh, surface mounted uh, resistors and stuff is quite common so pretty sure we could fix it if it's uh, as long as the chips are fine and also kind of fun here we need to zoom in on this one too because <laughs> I'll notice another thing here which I haven't seen actually before and I will too I have pictures of at least but yeah the RAM 90 megahertz. So the same thing as the other card, but instead of 83, this is 90 megahertz, and the frame buffer is still 100. Yeah, just looking the ships over, but I don't see any like obvious uh, bad pins and stuff. So my guess on this one is probably loose pins or maybe some broken surface mounted uh, resistors and stuff that's the common issue so yeah but only diagnosing it like testing it and so on will show what's the pro what might be the problem or where the problem might be uh, oh, i 
think I had one of those. I think I might still have one of these. Magic 3D2. So this is obvious also another Voodoo 2. Looking for bent pins here right now. Yeah, got smash pins. Uh, so you can quite clearly see them here. So the first thing I would do with these cards is just unbend those pins and try the cards out and see what works and what doesn't. So and let's look at the memory here while we're here. So 100 megahertz there. 100 megahertz there. So they're all 100 megahertz it seems. So yeah, this card uh, needs some uh, service, like all of them do, but... So we still have one more card here, because I was told there were four Woody 2s and one Wood 1. So, here we have a small, very small Wood 1. And this one is, he said, would look mint, but uh, acted like it was shorted out. Uh, exactly what, what that means, like... For me, I don't know yet. I have to obviously, with the description, make sure it's not short from say ground to positive on anything 5 volt, 12 volt. And uh, then after that, uh, also check the pins. But they said they look mint, and so far, I don't see any bent pins. So I doubt it's that. So, yeah, a little bit of probing and then some testing and see if it. I don't think it shows up at all by the description it sounded like it didn't exist by the computer so we've so, got 50 nanosecond I suppose memory so it's 50 here so it should be it should be 50 megahertz then 25 equals 100 on the other card with the twos I think these cards run at 50 so it's pretty much one for one there uh, nothing on the back Right, just 3D or shit. Yeah. That's nice. No empty RAM slot though for extra RAM, so I suppose this might be a 4 meg card. I mean, it's only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, so say, I think they're a half a megabyte, so this is 4 megabytes card most likely. So there you have it. Uh, we got the uh, E44 here from uh, Ferris. Thank you very much. It uh, will help me complete my. Uh, 2001, 2002 uh, socket A build I'm planning. So I think I have most parts now. So thank you very much, Ferris. It's uh, really nice. And uh, we've got the Wood 2s here and the Wood 1 from uh, Svenstingen over at sweetlockers.com. And my plan is obviously trying to fix all of them. Uh, think it's doable, but uh, without, without knowing exactly what's wrong other than the pen pins, we won't know for sure. But I think the majority, ma majority of them should be, be fixable, with no big issues. Uh, the most common problem on Voodoo 2s is uh, loose pins and broken uh, SMD stuff. If you watch my previous videos, that's my experience so far. It's very rare that the, the ships are broken or the memory, unless people Cracked the memory in half, which I've seen on one card ahead, and uh, uh, well, knock off all the pins to an extent that isn't like practical to repair. But I don't see anything like that on these cards. So my plan is to fix them and uh, see if we can find some new owners for them. Uh, I don't like eBay prices, or I think. Uh, yeah, fixing them and finding some new owners would be the the way to go there. So I don't know if I'm gonna do like a marathon kind of like all the voodoo's and trying to get them into one video. That would probably be way too long and maybe not uh, as informative. Obviously, I don't know if people want to see <laughs> four voodoo twos being repaired one per video, but uh, that could be an option too. Obviously, uh, depending. So yeah, that is the plan. So yeah, I'm very grateful for the donations. Like I said, I have maybe 50 euro budget, something per month. So I can't just go out and buy even cheap 
a sheep e waste. Uh, um, it eats up the budget pretty fast when it's so low. But that's uh, that's where I am on that. So this should really help out, and uh, hopefully. I can make some good videos where we can repair some wooded twos and uh, you can see where the faults are, how I found them. You can hopefully repair your own wooded two cards and maybe a wooded one. So yeah, thank you for watching and have a nice day. If you want to follow us, you can go to our social media webpage braindrainland.tk and pick your favorite platform. Link is in the description. You can join us on our Discord server, we host public lands when possible and game nights on our server hosting many old classical multiplayer games like Quake, Counter Strike and much more. Or you can show off your own retro LAN or maybe visit our members private LAN parties. We have a galleries, benchmark channels where you can post images, videos of your retro hardware and your scores and much more. So come and join us and share your retro experience with us. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.